I'd like to speak about modular month, path.py. Uh, to install it, all you need to do is pip path.py. They have a special name because it clashes with the os.path module. Uh, not, not in namespace, but just in identification. And in Google searches, which is very exciting. Uh, I really like this module. It's a nice little trick. So um, what you do is from path, import path. And you get this path object. And this path object will inst instantiate you instantiate with a string. right? So I say, here is dot. right? So everybody who's done Unix knows dot is the current directory. And um, here is this path object, but it's a string. So you can print it as a string. And also, it does something very magical, which I really like. It, it, it has all the string methods and stuff, but it, over, um, it overrides the division operator for path concatenation, right? So if I do here slash there, it'll do dot slash there using os.join. Here, I'm on a Unix system, so it does the forward slash. On Windows, it'll do the backslash. I don't know what arcane system from the 80s might have another character, but it'll do it because it's always path.join. So you can just, you know, have it a relative path. So you can concatenate strings, other path objects, and they just stick together and they just work. So you can have a relative path concatenated to absolute paths. Um, and of course, they're all, all of these things, right? So all these objects are strings. So they have all the string methods. So if you call any methods of a string, it turns a string. So if you need to split it, oh, do all the things you do with a string. Also, um, also, what they've done is they've added to the path objects all the all the os.path uh, methods, right? So you can say, in a sort of object-oriented way, oh, does this, so instead of os.path.exists, blah, a path, you just create a path object, say if it exists. Uh, you know, all the ones we know and love that we really find a pain to use, they have it in, in objects. So you can just string them together and, and call them as objects, right? Uh, this is, of course, really, really like norm path, simplify everything. Um, what else is there? Uh, also, oh, sorry, yeah, and so more modules like that. Also, what's interesting, so here I have the there, right? There does not exist, right? But they also implemented all the, a lot of the OS methods you can do on paths. So here I can make my directory. Suddenly, I get a path called there, right? Does it exist now? It does exist, so it's true. I can change directory into it. I can, if I import OS, I show you my current uh, working directory is in the there, the directory I just created. Um, if I go back up a root, and I call my file a file, right? So this is, again, my path object slash a file. I can just open it, right? And I get my open file descriptor in an object-oriented way. And, I, and so this A file is this path object. I manipulate and do open blah, and I have my thing. And uh, that's it. It's fun. So uh, pip install path.py. Uh, I think there's a couple of like border ca cases where it all goes horribly wrong. But I haven't hit them yet, so I'm really like this module. Um, any questions?